Hi there, coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. It is uh, almost been a year since we last chatted. Um, the folks at the website asked me to, to check in with you, to give you a little bit of an update, and I'm happy to do it. Um, I think that it's really, uh, to give you a little bit of a background, uh, I started out in Wagga Wagga, Australia. My supervisor got a job in uh, Melbourne, and so, not Melbourne, Melbin. Uh, so I moved with her, and, uh, and that was last March when I started with this institution. So big changes. Um, a couple things that I think are worth mentioning. That took way more time and effort than I thought it was going to take. So if you have a supervisor who's like, come with me to a new university, get ready for it to take. It's not just the moving and the finding a place. It's the, the dealing with a new administration and figuring out a new university. And if your, your supervisor is new, so are you. And you're both trying to sort through all this bureaucracy and figure things out. And it can be really challenging. Um, I had to reapply. I had to get matching scholarships. I had to do a ton of paperwork. It was it was basically like starting at square one. Um, I figured I lost at least two two and a half months of productivity just dealing with paperwork nonsense, uh, dealing with bureaucracy, dealing with you know new rental agency, all those kinds of things. So just forewarning, if you end up moving, there's a lot to contend with. Now that being said, I think it was really worth it. I met a whole new network of people. Uh, I've got uh, new resources, more resources. It's a larger city. My network just keeps on broadening and broadening. I'm exposed to many more opportunities to go to conferences that are you know within the building or you know a tram or a train right away. So all that's great. Now I'll give you a quick update what's currently going on and why I am wearing a shabby shirt at night. Um, in a nutshell, I, uh, I worked uh, all day in the office, ran home, uh, my wonderful husband made me some delicious food, and then I ran back here to keep on working. And this is the first time I've been able to do the video because it's it's night now, and most of the people, well, all the people in this area, this cubicle farm, have gone home and I can be loud because typically this is a no-talking, kind of completely quiet zone. Uh, so that's what's going on here, what's why I'm here. Um, uh, I, I think it's worth giving you a quick update about what I've been doing, my progress. Um, it's uh, Last time we talked, I was, I was coding my data and doing primary data analysis. Uh, all that's done now. Um, I'm using grounded theory, so the analysis is never really done. It's continuing on as I write, but the majority of the analysis is done. I know my themes. I know where the information needs to go, and now it's all about writing that up. So I'm weaving this narrative. Um, some things I learned. Uh, when you're doing your analysis, you get stuck into it, so deep into it. And I think doing a PhD is, is sometimes more challenging because you, you don't have anything else necessarily to go away to. I'm not teaching, and if I was teaching, then you'd have that burden to, to worry your mind and you know get you away from things. Where when you're in it in the PhD, it's a wonderful thing to be able to be in it completely. But then at times, I think it's really useful to, to back away. Um, so I went to a conference in October in DC and that was a really great opportunity to, um, to talk with people who are in my field, who are related, who know, you know the kind of work that I'm doing, um, uh, who have insights to give, and, and, and more than anything, it was just good to get away from the screen from in vivo and, and have some breathing time. Because I came back from that and it was like right into it. Uh, I had new clarity, I had new understanding. Um, that when you're stuck in the weeds, you just can't see the forest through the trees or any other metaphor you want to apply to it. <laughs> so many metaphors. So that's my analysis rant. Um, the writing thing, I don't know. I don't know what the magic is. Um, I, I have spurts of productivity. I try Pomodoros. Um, but then the world has other requirements of me as well and I still have to respond to emails and all of these other things so I don't know I don't know if anyone's got suggestions let me know what your system is I don't know if there's a system that works 100% of the time but I'm trying and I'm making progress and um, I've got my little word uh, counter in Scrivener that tells me how many I'm getting done each day and um, some days it's really depressing and some days it's really rewarding um, and so I'll soldier on and keep on moving and hopefully in the next uh, five months or so I'll wind this thing up and I'll be submitting. So if we don't talk before then, uh, I wish you all the best. I hope your project and your PhD is going well. And if you haven't quite started it yet, it's worth going back and looking at some of these videos, some really good advice. 
Um, and uh, if you're if, you know, slugging it through, then I'm there with you. Uh, wishing you all the best from a warm, lovely, summery Australia. Take care.